Hey romance readers, welcome back to Adore R. It's Linda here, back at you with another video. As you can see, I've switched it up today. Uh, and that's because uh, I have... I was up here looking for a book because I sell books on Amazon and someone ordered a book so I came up here looking for it and I was like why don't I just do a video and I wanted to make a video on my phone anyway to see how um, that would come out um, so this was really like a little uh, test uh, of my phone to see how it will show up on uh, YouTube so Let's get started. Uh, in this side over here are the books that I sell on Amazon. And on this side are my keepers. So we'll go through a little bit of these. Uh, yeah, I have Jacqueline Frank here, Rapture. And it's not, it was not a keeper for me. <laughs> As you can see, I have quite a few books up in here. This is one of those ones that have uh, a couple of authors in it. I forgot what they call these ones that have... Uh, different authors um, but it was Laura Lee, Angela Knight, Angela Knight, Emma Hawley, and Diane Westside. I read um, Laura Lee, Angela Knight, and Emma Hawley but I can't remember reading Diane Westside. I can't, I don't think so unless she wrote that historical, I can't remember. Maybe I have read her um, but um, these, uh, this is more like the steamy side um, romance because uh, uh, Laura Lee, Angela Knight, and Emma Holly. I, I know all three of those write steamy romances. But I think this was kind of like a paranormal. I think my sister had this because like I, I mentioned before on here, my sister liked paranormal. But I couldn't get into that one, so I let it go. I even got a Liz Carlisle up in here, people, and you know she she's my go-to. So maybe I give this another chance because... I don't even remember reading this. I I gotta maybe I'll leave it out and um, uh, read it again. Uh, but lately I've been in a reading slump. I know I this month is almost out, and I know I mentioned my TBR for April. Do you know I haven't read but one book? I haven't even finished that first book. <laughs> I haven't, so I'm just gonna take those books what I have for April by April TBR, and I'm just gonna try to get through them in March. So they're gonna be my March TBR because. I haven't read one book. I'm still on the first book out of all those books, so I'm still re I'm still trying to get through them. I've been in a reading slump, so I don't know. Uh, but since I like Liz Carlisle so much, I that's why I don't like coming back and look through my books again because I'll be like, what? I didn't like this one. Tempted all night. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to get that another shot because it's Liz Carlisle. Um, I know this is my sister. I didn't even read this right here. Um, she She's not like me. She don't keep any books. She just read them and get rid of them. She don't have no kind of keeper. She don't have no favorites or nothing. She just read them. Oh, nope. I don't want to keep it. So I was like, okay, I'll just sell it on Amazon then. Okay, good for me. <laughs> uh, this is one of her favorite uh, authors right here. She read this, The Hearts. I think it was just The Hearts. I don't know. This is, I know this is a series. I couldn't get into it. I tried to, but I couldn't. Heart Change by uh, Robin D. Owens. My sister like her, but like I said, she don't keep any books. I, mean, I don't care if she like them or not. It's not a keep for her. She's like, I am, I'm not going back and read that again. Some <laughs> some people don't like going back and reading books again, but I do. If I really like them, I know I want to read it again, but she didn't. So I sold that on. I'm selling that on Amazon. Uh, this is Tortured. Amanda McIntyre. Let me look through the rest of these up. I knew I had a... I think I have uh, uh, recommended one of Olivia Parker's book. I guess I didn't like this one to wear a Wicked Earl. I'm going to put this down here too. Maybe I need to go back and read that again too. Like I said, I should. <laughs> That's why I come back up here and look through these books. Because I be pulling out stuff and I don't put them on Amazon to sell. And I be trying to read them again. This had a nice cover on it. But nope, it didn't make the cut either. Not a keeper for me. I know this is my sister, The Accidental Human. She liked these kind of paranormal books. I think I recommended one of Rochelle Adler's uh, airs of uh, books on my uh, channel. I think it was Vials, but I didn't. I tried to get into this one, but I couldn't do it. Gentle Yarning, Rochelle A. Ayers. Let me look through here. In the company of Secret Judith Miller, I like this cover too. This, uh, 
This is historical, as you can see. It had a real nice cover. But it wasn't a keeper for me. And he said, the book I'm looking for uh, is called Warlord. And here's somewhere. Uh, there it is right here. This is what she ordered. I think it's Warlord Elizabeth Vaughn. This is how I pronounce name. And this was a series. I think I got that first book. I kept the first book, but uh, I put this in the other book to be sold. I know. How are you going to buy a series and you're going to sell off the second part of the book? But I only like the first part of it. And I think it could have been a standalone. So I just went ahead and put this on to be sold. And um, someone ordered this day. I was like, oh, I was at work and I had a uh, ping on my phone. And... I looked on there. I was like, oh, somebody don't order a book. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, did anybody read this series? I don't know what the series was called. I have no idea whatsoever. But um, I remember reading the first one. It, the first one was called War Prize. It was, I really enjoyed the first one, but then I uh, couldn't wait for the second one to come out and... It didn't do it for me, people. Um, I'll read you a little bit of this. since uh, This is what someone ordered. Laura of Zai or Zai XY. I don't know how to pronounce that. And her warlord, Kieran of the Cat, have been through much together. Laura abandoned her land and people for love of him. She adopted his ways and learned of his tribe. Together they have faced plague and insurgency. And despite these struggles, they have known happiness and joy. Now they face their most arduous trek. Kara must take Laura into the heart of the plains and introduce her as the war prize to the warrior priest. She must be tested, questioned, examined, watched, and must find favor with the warrior priest and the tribe elders before they will confirm her as a true war prize. I couldn't get into this second one, but I did like this cover, though. It's pretty neat. But, yeah, this is what uh, someone ordered. Warlord Elizabeth Vaughn. Put the rest of these back in here. I'm not going to go through the rest of these. I'll go through a little bit of my keeper pile I have over there. Put this up in here. There's these. I'm glad I didn't have to search too far before I found that book. I have a, um, I usually keep a, uh, a list of what's in the boxes. So this was the second box I looked through. And um, I had that list on there. And it had the Warlord on there. I was like, woohoo! I don't have to go through this whole, all these, uh, as you can see, I have books in boxes. I don't have I don't have bookshelves. <laughs> I just got them in boxes. One day, I will have bookshelves. But for now, nope. What did I do with my list? Is it up here? I don't know what I did with that list, but I'll find. Oh, here it is. Here's my little list here of my books. So I got to mark that off that somebody didn't purchase that. I'm throw that over there. And this is my keeper um uh box over here. I think I've uh, I recommended this already, but this is the second book. Like I, I mentioned in my video before, if I really like the book uh, and I know I'm going to be reading it over and over, I go buy me another one. So this is the other book that I I bought. This you see, I done wrapped it up. Um, this is going to be my keeper, uh, as you can see. Uh, I ordered it. It was a used book that I ordered, but it's better than the one that I had. So I I'm never going to read this one. I just it's just going to be my souvenir. Wow, Midnight. I really enjoyed this book and I really, really liked it. So I said, let me go buy me another one and I just keep it as a souvenir. And yeah, I'm doing too much wrapping it up and stuff. <laughs> don't judge me. I don't want to be judged. <laughs> this is a historical. This was really good. Janish Rims Hudson. Have any of you read her? Uh, Hunter's Touch. I'm not going to read the back of any of these. I'll just show them to you. Um, that was really good. Uh, Catherine Creel, Lady Aglet, A Lady Alex, uh, another historical. You know I love my historicals. That was good. Um, 
We're going to get into some old. We're going way back now. Uh, a Candlelight Ecstasy Romance, Desperate Yawnings by Dallas Hamlin. I really enjoyed this book, too. This was an excellent, excellent book. This, I think this is the only one I got by her. I can't remember. I might have another one. Um, I'm going to go see. Can I find some, or, some more of her books? on? Because I, 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 I remember I really did enjoy this book, Dallas Hamlin. I don't think she, I don't know if she did a lot of writing for her, Candlelight Ecstasy. Because, like I said, when I find an author that I really, really like, I usually buy, I'll be buying up that person's book. So this was really good. I'll leave that one out. i got to go look that up on uh, the Internet. Look her up on the Internet and see if she have any more books. Um, the Fabulous Jane Ann Krantz, Too Wild to Wed. Uh, she used to write for Holoquin. I have quite a few of her Holoquin um, books, too. But um, this one was really good. Too Wild to Wed. Oh, we're going way, way back. Holoquin Romance, uh, My Lord Cassine. This was good. Uh, keep it for me. Seemed like they in the desert. I can't remember it, but I liked it. I said I was going to go back and read some of these. I wonder, will I still like them uh, the way I liked them back then when I was when I was younger? I wonder. Carol Mortimer, Holoquin Present, The Passionate Winter. This was good. I like Sharon Salsa. Uh, Remember Me. I think it, I think this is like, yep, this is a romantic suspense. She's a good writer, excellent writer. That was good. If you haven't read uh, Remember Me, check it out if you like romantic suspense. And what would a collection be without Brenda Joyce? I got quite a few, a few of her books, too. Promise of the Rose. I'm sure some of you have already read this, but if you haven't, it was good. I got some silhouette desire up in here. I think I mentioned uh, I had some of Stephanie Jane's uh, books. Uh, here's one, uh, Velvet Touch. I think I recommend. I I can't remember. I think I recommended one of her books. And um, this was excellent. I like Stephanie Jane. She's a good good writer. She's an excellent writer. Velvet Touch. So if you haven't checked out Stephanie Jane, you should have because. Um, I think she got a, quite a few alias. Uh, Stephanie Jane. Um, Jane do, is she Jane and Krantz too? I can't remember. I got to go. I'm going to look that up. I'll I'll let you know in my next video. But I think she is. Because she, she has a lot of alias. But this is uh, her writing as Stephanie Jane for Silhouette Desire. Velvet Touch. And this was uh, book number 11. I have the first book in the Silhouette Desire uh, collection here. Uh, book number one by Stephanie Jane, Corporate Affair. You can also see I done put a little wrapper on this one, too. I know I'll be, like I said, I'll be doing too much. But I know I'm going to um, want to keep this in excellent condition. Stephanie Jane, Corporate Affair. If you haven't read Corporate Affair, check it out. It was excellent. I liked it. Enjoyed it. Um... Oh, here go book one in the Holoquin uh, historical. When they start doing Holoquin historical, Eleanor and the Marquise. Um, I liked it back then. I don't know if I would like it again if I read it, but if I read it again and I don't like it, I'm still going to keep it because it was one of my favorite back then. And it's the first Holoquin historical. Book number one. Look at here. Um, Elizabeth Thornton, Blue Stock and Bride. She's an excellent writer, too. Another Holoquin romance, Blue Bridge Bride, Sarah Holland. Have any of you read Sarah Holland? Um, you need to find some of her. She's an excellent, excellent writer. I highly recommend her. I think I've, uh, I think Michelle Styles. um, I think she, I had one of her books on my TBR list uh, to be read, but um, this is the first book I ever read by her, The Gladi Gladiator's Honor. Um, excellent book. I really enjoyed it. Um, this reminds me of the, the movie Gladiator because he's a gladiator. So if you haven't read this, check it out. The Gladiator's Honor, Michelle Style. If you haven't checked out, you need to read some of her books because she's an excellent, excellent. Highly recommend her her writing. 
Uh, go back over three more. I have three more here that I'll show you, and that'll be it for today. Uh, Grand Passion, Elizabeth Manfield. This is a Regency romance. I think this was uh, published by Jove Books. And um, I like her writing too, Elizabeth Mansfield, The Grand Passion. Uh, this was a second chance at love. I don't even know that they don't even do second chance at love anymore. Heart of Gold, Liz Grady. I didn't, I didn't buy too many second chance at love books, but uh, this one was excellent. I really enjoyed that one, Liz Grady. And last but not least, Joe Goodman. I highly, highly recommend this book right here. If you, if you haven't read this right here, you need to. A Season to be Sinful. And um, I think I'm going to read this again. I forgot this was up here. I'm going to leave this one out because I don't think I'll read it again. But since I've been in my reader slump, it probably sitting with the rest of the TBR. But I'm going to take it down downstairs anyway. And uh, hopefully I can get out of my reader slump pretty soon and uh, get back to reading books so I can do some recommendations. But I'm glad I found this one. Um, I... I think I mentioned before I like Joe Goodman, but that last book I read of hers, like I said, it was okay, but I, it wasn't a keeper. But this one was A Season to Be Sinful. So if you haven't read this by Joe Goodman, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, until next time, I'm sorry, my hand all up in the way. Until next time, people, keep reading those romances, and I'll see you on the next go-round. Bye-bye. Have a good evening.